Alright, so I decided to record um, myself purchasing a domain name and setting up a niche site for a client. Um, I do this so often, um, so I wanted uh, other people to be able to learn um, how easy it actually really is. So I go to GoDaddy, I put in the site name that I want to purchase, um, make sure it's available. It is. Simply go to Express Buy. Takes me right through to the page, and I continue to check out, and then I place the order. That is done. I now own that domain name. Now what I want to do is go to my host where I host all my websites. I use Bluehost. It's basically yeah, seven bucks a month. Oh, five bucks a month right now. They've got a special. I've never had any problems with them. I did have problems using GoDaddy in the past as a host, so that's why I changed. Um, but there's a lot of hosting platforms. They all basically do the same thing. I like Bluehost because you'll see here how easy it is to set up a new site. So from there you log in, you go to Domain Manager at the top and you want to assign a domain to your cPanel count. It's the third one down. And you're going to type in the name of the site that you just purchased. So let me go back to my inbox and the name of the site was CellulitedocLosAngeles reason I'm using this domain name, um, this is actually the keywords we want to rank for. Um, so it's, well, basically Cellulite Los Angeles and he's a doctor. So Cellulite Los Angeles wasn't available so I got Cellulite Doc Los Angeles. So um, I need to now go back to GoDaddy and point my DNS servers over to Bluehost. So this is actually going to, the two of them will be synced up. So I go to GoDaddy, I go to, um, let's go to my account, let's go to the beginning, domain names, I'm sorry, they changed the way everything looks all the time, um, domain names, okay, all products, domains, I want domains and I want domain management. Now I'm going to go ahead and find the domain name. So we got Doc Los Angeles. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go down to where it says name servers and I'm going to go set name servers. Then I'm going to go, I have specific name servers for my domain. I know Bluehost is ns one dot bluehost.com ns2.bluehost.com whoever you're using they will have name servers something similar to this so all you gotta do is look up their name say it's uh, HostGator and do a google search for HostGator name servers and it'll tell you what their names are there'll be two of them Type them in, one and two, make sure there's no spelling mistakes or mis errors. Click OK. Usually takes two hours, however it may take up to 48 hours. Um, generally, I find these happen pretty much straight away. So now I'm going to go back to Bluehost, where I already put in the domain name previously. I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to go Add Domain. Um, you know, I may be doing it just a little too quickly. Let me refresh this page. Put in the domain. It's verifying. Okay, cool. It's pointing. To here, which is what we want, go ahead and add domain. Just wait a second, it's going to add. 
Du, 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 Generally takes about um, 10 to 15 seconds. So any second now, that should get added. So basically what it's doing is it's syncing up your GoDaddy domain name to where the site is going to live. So next up to this, what we will do is... Um, set up WordPress on the site on Bluehost here and actually put a website up because um, once these two are synced you're just going to have a basic page from Bluehost saying this is where the site will live but there's going to be nothing there so we're going to go ahead after this and actually create the site um, and install WordPress I use WordPress just because uh, it's free it's a very easy platform to build sites on these days um, you don't really need to be a programmer and um, there's a million people outsourcers out there who you can get really cheaply to do uh, amazing websites for you uh, a good one is you know Elance if you can go on there or Odesk you can find a lot of people okay cool that's done so now I want to do is go back to my cPanel in Bluehost and we're going to install WordPress go down here click on WordPress it may be somewhere different on your page. For me, it's normally up towards the top. Some other people, it may be down towards the bottom. Uh, but you'll find it in your cPanel. So now go all the way down to the bottom. Once you clicked on that and go install. This is a pretty quick process. You're setting up a whole website here. Um, cellulite. So go ahead and, you know, if you just set up a brand new account, you'll only have one in there. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff. You can host up to basically a hundred WordPress sites on Bluehost for the five bucks or six bucks or whatever you're spending a month. Uh, without any, you know, as long as they're not massive crazy sites, but any small business sites you're fine. Um, just, I uncheck all of these, you don't really need any of these things, but you gotta check step four legal information. Go ahead, click complete. Now it is installing WordPress for you. It takes about another 10 to 15 seconds and it'll give you just a basic admin um, login which it will show you in a second okay here it is this username admin password is this so go ahead click on the actual site login is admin password Okay, now we're in. So if I actually bring up this site right now, you'll see it's just a basic WordPress site because we installed WordPress. So now what I want to do is install a theme that I use on a lot of my sites to sh sort of make it look a bit more professional, more of a um, you know an actual website I go to appearance then I go to themes go into install themes upload choose file and now I'll point to the directory where I have all of my themes I keep them in my Dropbox which should be my Dropbox something in here called WordPress stuff WordPress stuff themes and I like to use a theme called thesis thesis you can go ahead and Google thesis buy it I think it's around 70 or 80 bucks um, it'll be a zip file and then all you do is point to that zip file and you upload it then I'll go ahead and activate it Now the thesis theme has been set up. So if I go ahead and do a refresh now, you'll see, okay, now my thesis theme's here. Um, so this is where, you know, now I start modifying and building out the website. So to give you an example, um, here's like a thesis site that I've taken. Um, I built this in about an hour. It's basically you know you put in a video you put in text you can put in different pages make them tabs across the top 
set up some forms, set up columns, um, change some colors, bam, bam, bam. It's all really simple. Within um, Thesis, you just basically site options. You know, you pick the amount of columns you want. Three column layout, two column layout, size of the left column. It's very simple. There's a bunch of tutorials online for um, modifying Thesis. Um, so that's basically the steps from purchasing a domain, setting up a site, installing a theme, and um, building out a site from from um, you know from nothing. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.